Hey, oh jelly beans, welcome back. For today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different. I actually kept seeing these random crafting bags at my local secondhand store, which is called Savers here. Um, I know some people shop at Goodwill and find these, but this one is Savers. And I've seen them several times and I've wanted to check them out and see if they're actually worth the price and what's inside of them. So for today, I am going to open one of these and then in another video, I will open the other one. So hopefully I will end up getting my money's worth. Let's do, let's do the bigger bag today. So this one's price was $4.99 and I'm not gonna viciously rip this bag open like usual. I'm going to actually use scissors this time. Cut this open and I'm just I'm really just curious to see if these are worth it you know they're there and someone assembles them so okay I'm gonna kind of just like dump it out a little bit So first up, we have this random thing. If you take it, it goes to this, which is this like a letter opening knife or is this, oh, I can't get it open. I don't want to cut myself. This is really, really pretty. And guys, you'll probably hear my neighbors doing stuff today. They're always so loud. I don't know what the little design on here is, but it's got this pretty little tassel and then it's it's made of wood. If you could hear it. Huh, does it have any doesn't have like any engravings on it or anything. It almost looks handmade. Let's see. Oh how cool is that? So this fits in really nice. If anyone has any idea what the use of these are, I, I you could comment that down below. I'm assuming this is like a letter opening knife, but we'll put that there. And then there's several packs of glitter. Now you all know that sometimes I do stuff with glitter. I have some different projects and crafting things. So I'll definitely use these. Um, and honestly, ooh, they have little shaker tops. I'm going to regret opening this. I bet the glitter's going to go everywhere. I'm so nervous. I'm like shaking. I'm scared. Okay. Ah, see that? It's got like a little shaker top. That's actually really nice. Um, a lot of glitters don't have that. It's just like a pour. Um, so that's really nice. Okay. I mean, I'll definitely use these, and usually you could get them for like a dollar at the Dollar Tree, like a four four pack. So, I mean, that takes down one of the dollars. Would we say it was four ninety nine? So, I mean, so far we got this cute little knife thing and some glitter. I have absolutely no idea what this is or what it would go for. Um, if anyone has any idea what this is. Does it go on the glitter maybe? I've no idea. Well, don't know what that is. Oh, these are hooks for your dresses and pants and shirts. The little latch hooks. Um, I think you could get these at the store for relatively cheap. They're not too expensive, but I'll put this in my sewing kit. Now, I mainly grabbed this bag because of this thing. I have no idea what this is. It's just like says it's a tool. Universal eyelet setter. Sets four different eyelets with interchangeable tips. Yeah, there's the dog, always the dog. So I'm assuming that this is for, um, Clothes? Is this for embellishing clothes? 
any of you out there know what how to use this, please let me know. Um, it's got interchangeable heads. It's really heavy. You just screw these on here. It's got four different types of impressions. It's pretty cool. Yeah, if you know what that is for and how to use it, let me know. I think it's kind of interesting. It looked, it was really heavy and in the bag I was kind of curious what this was, so. And I don't know how much a tool like this would cost. I'm actually going to look that up and I'll put the price on the screen afterwards so we could see if that already makes it worth the $4.99 that I paid. Okay, we have a chalk marker. Oh no, wet wipe marker. Chocola. Assuming it's... So it's like a chalk marker that you can write with. And it's not completely dried out. That's awesome. I was expecting any pens or pencils to be from the Dollar Tree to be dried out. Sounds like there might be a tiny bit left in there, but not a whole lot. Not too shabby. These I know you could get at um, like Dollar General or something like that, so they're not super expensive, but I don't know how much an individual pen is either, so I'll have to look that up. There's a brush, definitely a cheaper the blush. Brush, the bristles are definitely plastic, but a good brush nonetheless. I'll probably use it for putting resin on things. And this is a cutter, which I, I'll definitely use this for my clay tools. Um, I know that this is probably used for something else, but this will be nice to do perforated lines. Um, it's not too sharp to my finger. I know I keep touching it, you're all gonna probably freak out, but it's really not that sharp, but it'll be perfect for clay. A tool like this could run a couple dollars, so honestly, I think so far I've made more than what I spent. And this was another one. What is with this bag and random knives? This thing is so heavy. I would say it's almost about a pound, just this blade. It's a solid metal handle, and this is a letter opener. I know that for a fact. The other one, I have no idea what it is, but this one, is a letter opener and it's metal too it's like actually part of the handle it's not like a piece that slides in this was from in, in a mold I take it and it was probably pulled out of the mold but it's pure solid like you can open some serious letters with this it's really cool I'm gonna put that on my desk and I have no idea what this is um, I'm hoping that this little tag kind of explains. It says it's a make it and bake it plastic baking crystals. Preheat oven to 375, and that's degrees. For a smooth glass-like appearance, bake approximately 15, 20 minutes. Do not use a standard kitchen oven or toaster oven. Wait a second. Oh, use a standard, I read do not. I was like, wait a second, it says to preheat the oven. Do not use the microwave. Use on a flat cookie sheet lined with aluminum foil or an aluminum pie plate and press, blah, 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 placed on a cookie sheet. A slight chemical odor is released. The odor is not harmful. You have to be in a well-ventilated area and it cools. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. So it gives, I don't know if these go with it. Is there, I don't know if you can see it. They're like micro teeny tiny baby beads. Little tiny blue beads. And then all of these. I'm actually assuming this is what they are. These I think are just random beads. I'm not gonna attempt to put them in the oven. Um, 
These are just micro beads that I see some people using these in slimes and stuff like that. So maybe I will mix them in with a slime in a future video and then more glitter. But these I think are the baking. I'll do another video where I actually attempt to use these. As you can see, they're just like little pieces of plastic. Kind of giving me vibes of like shrinky dinks, the shrinky plastic. Like a similar concept where you bake it and it turns into something. So, I have no idea how much these are worth either, but I will also um, look online to see how much this is and to see if my bag was worth it. From what I'm gathering so far, it is worth it. Wait a second, do you think these are, what are those uh, water beads? These can't be water beads, can they? I'm gonna get a bowl, one second. Okay, so I got a bowl. <laughs> I'm either gonna look like a big idiot for putting these in here, or these will swell up. But I think they're too tiny to be those water beads, right? They're probably just regular beads. I don't know how long they're supposed to last. Just use this to kind of... They feel kind of plasticky. I don't really see them expanding at all. Yeah, I think they're just regular tiny micro beads. I don't think they're actually like water beads. Those should be like really tiny water beads. Yeah, they're not expanding. I think they're just plastic beads. I feel like an idiot. Okay, well, I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, so let's look at what we have. We have some mini micro beads. We have some glitter. We have some baking crystals, which these are really cool. I can't wait to try this out. We got this insane letter opener. This cool little blade thing. Don't even know what to do with this. I got this, which I'm going to use. I actually have several projects in mind already that I'm gonna use this for. I don't really know what this is. It's an eyelet setter, but I don't do anything with sewing or clothing or fabric or stuff like that. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do with that. Then we have hooks. I always end up getting these going missing on my clothes because I, wear my clothes till they're literally falling apart. We have a chalk pen, four things of glitter, this brush. I still don't know what this is, but it's something. And that is what we got. So I think from looking at this that it's worth more than $4.99, but it's stuff that I may or may not use. So the worth is, will it take up just space that's unnecessary? Will I just end up getting rid of some of these? Um, and if any of you think I should ever post stuff like this on my Etsy shop to sell, like if you yourself would be interested in something like this, I could put it on my Etsy shop. Like this thing is really, really cool. Um, yeah, that's really cool. So next week, I am going to open up this bag. And we will see what goodies and treasures we find in the random secondhand store thrift shop bags. All right, everyone, thank you so much. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell for more videos like this. And to become part of the Jelly Bean family, subscribe. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.